and get used to that shit. No capes. Yeah, with them trying to get after her. As long as I don't get in a fight, we fine. You lost? Because I don't have time for tours. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Flash money like that in here, you better be ready to fight. I got customers who knife a man for less. Selena Kyle. Where is she? Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Nice yeah. to meet you. Uh, Frank. Yeah. Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. You're uh, shorter than I thought you would be. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just <laughs> trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. But whatever. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who yep. hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, that's Penguin? You should have just killed me on that <laughs> rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The Penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by exactly. reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the yeah. first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. He thinks he's changing the world for the better. No matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Nope. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Yeah, you know, that's the penguin then. They penguin made him a lot better than God knows what in the city. some fat dude you with a bunch of penguins leave. nearby. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right? If penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie. The gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. Keep Harvey out of this. The less he knows, the safer he'll be. I'm uh -huh. sure his safety is your paramount concern. You and I... Oh, yep, here's that crew. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello.
Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. <laughs> Might as well just start the fight off early. Bye, bitch. Ooh. That's a concussion. <laughs> That's called sea ball. I ain't getting shanked, but you're gonna get fucking body slam. I got your head. What the fuck? Yeah, pool table, pool table, pool table. Aww. This is the fun part of the game. <laughs> Not done yet. Okay, they, I, I didn't think the combat would be that fun, but this is actually pretty fucking fun. <laughs> I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. You just gave me two weapons. You fucked up. And... Oh, that's some serious injury that will affect you down the line. Pretty good for such a pretty boy. Let's say I've been doing this dressed up as a bat. This actually isn't breathing. Come on, this way. Sorry, I just had to grab his dick. That's where you keep the phone, right? That's at least where I should keep mine. Right by my dick. No one grab it. Quick, check the alleyway. Be gone. Negative. Let's check the other side. Are we alone? Yeah, we're up. we're <laughs> she gets turned on by beating up people. Fuck it, let's fuck. Let's get out of here. <laughs> God damn it, Napa. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. When will I see you again? <sighs> when you least expect it. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Oh, come on. Why do I gotta do that? Like, that's the stupidest quick time now. ever. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Uh, 
this is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, <laughs> oh, sound fuck. Good. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Um... Yeah, it goes, Bruce. <laughs> I, I like the Batman fight scenes, but... Going as Bruce is the smart choice. <laughs> I got all my animals just here laying around me. I love it. Because I can just go any direction and pet something fluffy. Yes, they called you Fluffy. <laughs> Go on, say hi at like 7 at fucking PM. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. You're really telling me that Bruce Wayne needs an appointment. But the mayor will be fine. And if he fires, he just come to work for me. Deal? <laughs> if he fires you, you just work for me. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. This isn't a social call, Hill. I'm here for answers. Well, well, straight to business. And I was going to have Deborah make you a martini. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So, what's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? You're working with Oswald Cobblepot and his thugs. Working with them? They're a bigger threat to order than those masked freaks. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. If that's true, maybe I can make it right. Noble, but naive. It was so long ago, there's nothing left of the Cobblepot estate. Maybe if I could count on you as an ally, I could use the powers of my office to help you make reparations. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor <laughs> of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne, and you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. 
The judges may bow, but the voters will burn you at the stake when I turn you in. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere <laughs> else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. You know Harvey is going to embarrass you out there. Dent's campaign is on its last legs. Tonight, it hits the canvas. It's you who's going downhill, and you're not getting back up. <laughs> yeah, I'm stick. I'm, I'm keeping Harvey's back, man. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. Now we're on the final chapter. Something's gonna happen, it's gonna leave a cliffhanger, which will make me want to play this game more, when I can't really, because I want to do other shit. But at the same time, I don't want to backlog too much, so it's like, there are. is on here. Yes, quick time event just to put the phone in there. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. You don't tell me I can't imagine extra. how you must feel. None of that matters now. The only thing that does is stopping Oz. The city needs you now more than ever. I'll, uh, leave you to it, then. Gotham yeah. District Poor Attorney Alfred. Harvey Dent appears to be hitting... Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. to get out there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exa... Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kind of crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. I, I get it, it's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the yeah. allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. 